Well, the history that I really enjoy about waterfowling is obviously the dogs, and I'm, I'm a lab guy through and through. So the history that I've researched is mainly about labs, and you know, they started back in the 1500s in Newfoundland. Uh, they were called St. John's Dogs, and they were used as work dogs. They worked the, the fishing camps at, with the fishermen, and they picked up fish that jumped the hooks, or they swam out and picked up the lines and the buoys and returned them to the boats. Uh, one of the things that made them such a great working dog was the fact that they could withstand the cold water. They were calm around the house. They had great demeanor. They were great with families. Those are all things that uh, they really enjoyed about the particular breed. In the 1800s, they were then imported from Newfoundland to England because the sport of fowling, upland hunting, and waterfowl hunting started taking off. And they really enjoyed these dogs, so they imported them over there for that fact for flushing up game and for retrieving the, the birds after shot and as they say the rest is history they came to Americas and now it's pretty much one of the number one dogs in the AKC you see them all over the world all over the country they're great USAR dogs they're great family dogs are great CNI dogs they're everything As a waterfowler, I want to bring a couple things to the sport. You know, the first one is I want to be able to bring children into it and pass it down to the next generation and because that's what's going to keep the sport alive and let them understand the parts that I love about this sport. You know, the, the sunrises, the sunsets, the camaraderie, all the things we've talked about already. The dog, I really like hunting with dogs, so that's the next thing I want to bring into the sport is the average Joe Schmo hunter that's got his family pet lab or Chessie or, or Troller and is able to take his dog out a couple times a week and train it and have a dog that's steady to shot and then progress from there. You know, the, the average guy doesn't need a dog that can run a blind 500 yards. The average guy doesn't need a dog that can remember eight shot, eight birds that fell in one volley. He needs to, the dogs that can pick out three or four birds, sit in a blind quietly and steady, and then go do his work, pick up the birds and come back. And that's what I want to bring. I want to be able to make it so it's easy and fun to train your dog, and you don't have to worry about him when you're hunting. You can just worry about the hunting.